Nine months ago, the British Medical Journal published an analysis of data integrity issues in the Pfizer vaccine trials. And before you squeal, oh, but was it peer reviewed? Because I don't believe anything unless it's been peer reviewed. Well, yes, it was. The BMJ, it's peer reviewed up the wazoo. The British Medical Journal's been around for almost two centuries, since 1840, when it started as the Provincial and Medical Journal. It's one of the most prestigious medical journals on the planet. But according to the official fact checkers of Facebook, the British Medical Journal is merely a, quote, news blog. Just a blog probably started in the early 2010s by some bloke in pyjamas living in his mum's basement. So pay no attention to it. Despite being unable to find anything in the BMJ story wrong or false, the Facebook fact checkers published their dismissal of it under a URL containing the words hoax alert. Now it's emerged that the editors of the BMJ have written to Mark Zuckerberg protesting their treatment and demanding the fake fact check be removed. Ava Vladingerbroek joins me, and we're always delighted to see her. Ava, we're seeing governments change their position on the vaccines, but the totalitarian groupthink enforced by Facebook, Twitter and the like seems to be indestructible as ever. Exactly. Still, every time there's any research that comes out that says, oh, there might be a negative effect to this vaccine or any research that points to the idea that the vaccine might not be as effective and as safe as our governments have uh, have preached over the past two years, then that information is censored as labeled as misinformation. Yet information that our governments put out, such as that the vaccine, which was the ultimate promise that they made us, would protect against transmission. Mm. And that was also the absolute lie mm. that formed as the basis for all of their restrictions and for the legal and social exclusion of the unvaccinated. That lie has never officially been retracted. So you can just see here how no. big pharma, big government and big tech work together to cover up the lies of the past two years that have basically made our human rights, our constitutional rights redundant. And that's not something that they're willing to own up to. So even though we're seeing them maybe sometimes here and there say now like the CDC in America, oh, we can actually treat the unvaccinated yeah. equally now to the vaccinated. That's all happening silently. It's all being brushed over as if they never actually lied to us for the past two years, but they did, and we shouldn't forget. Do you think it's because of control that, that they have enjoyed the control they've exercised and they simply don't want to give it up? Absolutely. It's an abuse of power. It's, they have now had the ultimate proof that they can lock us up, they can lie to us, they can laugh at us in our faces, mm. And still, we will listen to them and say, oh, but what if the narrative changes? You know, we had the CEO of Pfizer, of all people, quoting, uh, tweeting out today mm -hmm. saying, oh, I was quadruple vaccinated. I now have COVID, but I'm so yeah. thankful that I, have, that I have the vaccine and that I also have the COVID medication that Pfizer put out, because otherwise it probably would have been much worse. And I am just very afraid that that is a narrative that they're going to push on us again when winter hits, when fall hits again, and that the collective memory of people mm. in the West is just too short to remember that nothing changed since a couple of years ago. Yet now suddenly we were able to live a summer almost completely free. But before that, we were locked in our houses. Mm. You couldn't go out. You couldn't hug your grandparents. And we were told that if you didn't take the vaccine, you were a selfish, well, a lot of bad things is what they called us. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. That you that you were a, a granny killer. The thing about this, though, is they really can't they can't keep it going through another winter. I mean, the Chinese are supposed to be good at coming up with these killer viruses. They're going to have to come up with something that's got to be a lot more lethal before people are going to even contemplate semi lockdown again. We can't just do it for this wimpo stuff like, oh, Omicron. Oh, and now there's a sub, 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 sub variant of Omicron. Thank you very much, Ava. It's always great to see you.